Hello, beautiful ladies. My name is Jeannie and I'm from the Carrollwood campus. And I have a wonderful source scripture I would like to read to you today. It's from Isaiah chapter 11, verse two and three. It says, the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and of might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. He will delight in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or decide by what he hears with his ears. My observation of this is this is an Old Testament scripture and Isaiah is prophesying about the coming Messiah, our wonderful Savior. And the Spirit is mentioned four different times in this verse and it mentions the eight attributes of Jesus, which for me, I could follow more closely with those eight attributes than I find that I do every day. I want you all to remember that Jesus was 100% God, but he was 100% man. He laid down his majesty to come to earth to be a servant, to gain back what was lost. So therefore, we have a lot to remember and a lot to strive toward becoming more like Him. So when I think about this, I ask myself, how can I apply all of this to my life? We have to stop and remember this is a special time of the year. And all the attributes that I talked about, I would like to read them, remind you of them. And it's the spirit of wisdom, counsel, might, knowledge. He delights in the fear of the Lord. He will not judge by what he sees with his eyes or what he hears with his ears. To me, that's so important because as a person, sometimes I forget all the attributes of Jesus and I forget that I need to put them in my life on a daily basis because I can't make it without Jesus because I was a mess that Jesus turned into a message. So I'm so grateful for that. My way of thinking is, okay, apply these to your life every day. Strive toward that goal. So I would go on to say, how do I get this to work in my life? That the reflection of this all is who Jesus is, how much he loves me, how he came to save me, how he does not find fault with me, but he just loves me and encourages me to do the best I can because he's there to lead me every day. So I would just like to pray with you ladies and remind you of how wonderful Jesus is. So Father, right now, Lord, I just lift up every woman that's watching this Lord, we all strive every day to be more like you and less like us. Sometimes that becomes hard to do. But Father, I know you're always with us. You're always guiding us. You're always leading us. All we have to do is lean on you. So Father, I just ask that every woman that's listening to this and sees this, Father, that they would have a great desire to be closer to you and walk the path you call me, them to walk. And I thank you for it. In Jesus' name, I call it done. Amen.